This is the Farewell to Whistler Cooking with Ross special from Tapley's Pub in the Village Center. Ross and friends will prepare French, Mexican, and seafood dishes. Now, here's our chef, Ross Smith. Hello, and welcome to Cooking with Ross. Here we are in Tapley's, uh, quite a local place, a local hangout, a place that's known for its food, and this is a food show. I have some friends on with me today. We're going to be doing various dishes. I'd like to introduce you to... There's no introduction necessary here. A very longtime local person associated with uh, Little Mountain Bakery, been here from the start of the bakery, been here for many years. A qualified chef that had actually worked at the conference center long before I did. Pierre, Pierre LePage, good friend of mine. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, this is your first time on the show. Yeah, it is, yeah. Okay. Now, what we're going to do, you've got a Belgium dish, I believe, we're going to do. Uh -huh. Would you like to explain the dish to us and see what we're going to do? Well, today what we're going to do is a chicken with a Belgium, a la Belgium beer. Uh-huh. I brought back some Belgium beer from Belgium. Now, this is quite yeah. unique. Why? Because of the alcohol percentage, is it not? A little bit, I guess. <laughs> it's 12 percent. Now, 12 percent alcohol. Now, that's, most wines are 11 to 12. 11, actually, is minimum for cooking wines or wines that we use in cooking. This is 12 percent. So. It's still fine for cooking. Uh, apparently, people think it's fine for drinking. It's a large selling beer in Belgium, is it not? It is, yeah. 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 But it's something you don't drink until very late at night. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I would suggest in very small quantities also. Okay, uh, we've got the beer now. Explain the rest of the dish to us, and then we'll start preparing. Okay, so what we need to do the dish is uh, three to four shallots. We have, we have three shallots because they're fairly big. Uh -huh. And then we need uh, lard. Uh -huh. Which bacon? Bacon is lard. Yeah. So I got four slices since it's very thin slice. Uh -huh. So I took four slices, but it would have been thick. I would have took only took two slices. And then we have prunes, pitted prunes, about yeah. twenty of them. There we go. And then we have uh, some uh, rosemary, thyme. We need butter. We need vinegar, sugar, garlic. A little olive oil, little I see. Little olive oil, yeah. There. Nice and salt fresh and pepper. pepper. Yeah. Fresh pepper. Great. That's what okay. we need to do it. Why don't I just get a pan going here? Uh, now, this is a saute and casserole dish, is it not? That's right, yeah. And it's usually, originally the recipe was for rabbit. Yeah, for any game, rabbit, pheasant, yep. quail. And we're just using nice, like, we're using poultry, chicken, sweet yeah. chicken breast. Okay. Let's get started. You can get going where you want to do. I imagine okay. it would be the chicken breast. Yeah, we have to uh, kind of cut the chicken in pieces. While you're doing that, I'll just heat up a little bit of this olive oil, get the pan hot. Now, this could be done as a whole chicken breast, sauteed, Go with the next step and then casserole That's it if right. you could. That's right. Uh, but like what if you use a rabbit, you would cut it in eight. Huh? Into pieces. But now we have many people to feed, so we make little pieces so everybody can get to try it out. Okay. And what we're doing today, of course, in Tappies, we don't do a sit-down dining affair. We're going to platter the food. We're going to pass it around, get as far as we can with it. This is just one segment of today's show. We're going to try and do a little longer, a special. As Jim Monaghan mentioned, this is my last show on Whistler for the moment. Who knows about the future? Here we go. And if you were following this recipe to do it with chicken for two people, I would do a six ounce breast per person. We're doing about five, six ounce breasts here. Yeah, we, yeah, okay. five breasts of they're about four or five ounces each. It's one of the words that you can say on television because it refers to food. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> and we just want to quick saute this off. Now, do you put any seasoning in it at this stage or no? No, not right now. Not now. Okay. Perfect. We should need to season it a little bit. And uh huh. And we use another casserole that we. Yes, I have the other pan here for us. Okay, I've got this on the go. Why don't you just keep going with what you're doing there? And step number two. 
Okay, well, after we, we're going to stuff in the chicken so it sees very well. Maybe it takes a tiny little bit of color. Uh -huh. Then we're going to transfer it to do a different casserole. We'll use the same pan to, and we're going to saute the lard and minced shallots. Okay, very good. Okay, well, if you want to start preparing that stuff now, we can talk about it as we're going on. I'll just okay. keep an eye on the chicken. We have the lard I have the here. easy job today because this is typical when somebody quits the job their last day, they're never going to put out 100%. Well, I'm taking the easy work today, believe me. <laughs> as you can see, I've got Pierre doing all the labor. <laughs> now, this is a Belgium dish, you say. Now, yeah. there's, there's probably distinctly different or mixed cuisines in Belgium because there is actually two different races. There's the Flemish and the French, Belgium and that. Yeah, no, they do, yeah. Well, and this is a French base or is it, is it a cross? It, no, that's from the French. That's from uh, the Eno country, which is the French part of Belgium where they don't speak Flemish. Okay. Perfect. And basically they, they cook like in uh, like And geographically, in that's the southern part, right? Yeah. Okay. And they cook like in France, uh -huh. but with a few different of course. Not as formal as French cooking. Oh, it's so. Doesn't mean it's not as good. No, 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 no. Uh, but uh, what you mean is possibly like more home style or family or country. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All depends on the culture and where they're from. And of course, we know it's Provencal style and French is much. It's just like the beer. Each town in Belgium has its own beer. That's why there is 195 kinds of beer over there. Well, there we go. There we go. So I'm going to min mince these uh, shutouts. So this, the chicken's almost done. Just a couple of minutes here. We're, you're cutting the shallots, not not too finely. No, really? not, just mince. Yeah. That's one of the difference between the Belgium and the French. The French would, would, uh, would cut it very fine, super fine, yeah. which is in Belgium, they like to see the, the shallots. And of course, that's the style of like country style cooking or home yeah. cuisine. and. The, which is still very prevalent in Europe, of course. Okay, I'm just going to pull this. We just probably will have enough time to get this started. Now, you're going to want the, the bacon or the lard first. Yeah, we'll get the bacon uh, the lard until we get a bit of fat happening, and then we add the shallots. Okay, excellent, excellent. Now, this is, uh, it's, it's actually a three-stage cooking dish, right? We cook the chicken, even though in the same pan, mm -hmm. what you're going to be doing now is making the sauce or the base for yeah. the for And the then chicken. we get a mijot, mijoté, you uh -huh. simmer yes. everything yes. together. Yes, of course. And we're going to uh, reduce the beer in here as we would a cooking wine, or as mm -hmm. we would a wine. Yeah. Yeah, it's same concept. Yeah. Okay. As soon as we have a little more fat happening here from the bacon, then we pour the shallots in there. And we make them sweat a little bit. Okay. This is it. I think what we might be doing very shortly, uh, how long will this take, like, the shallots and the bacon? Not very long. Maybe a couple minutes, two or three minutes. Okay. All right. Let's just take a little break here. We're going to come back. This will all be ready. We'll be able to finish the sauce, put in the beer, do your shallots first. We'll reduce the beer, take the flavoring to where you want with your herbs and your seasonings. And then we'll put together the dish and we'll pass it around to some of our friends. As, as you can hear by the noise, there's a few people in the bar today. And I'm wondering why, because there's a lot of snow out there and you all should be up the mountain. You're very lazy people. We're going to take a little break now. I thank you for being with me, and we're going to come back. My All friend right. Pierre and myself, we're going to be back here in just a few minutes. Stay with us. Soy americano
Welcome back to Cooking with Ross, our last show in Whistler, and with my good friend Pierre Lepage. We are here, we are doing rabbit a la Belge beer, beer Belge. Or... Yeah, we're without rabbit. Okay, <laughs> but we're not doing rabbit, we're doing chicken, we know that. Okay, now we've, we've stopped the last segment, we've got everything ready here, we've got like the bacon in there yeah, with we the, had shallots. the shallots. Yeah. Now what are you going to do? It's that beer. Isn't that wonderful beer yet or no? Well, you know what we're going to do is now that it's sweating a little bit, the shallots, mm -hmm. we're going to transfer the shallots into there. Okay. Before we add the beer. Okay. I think I can be trusted to do that. It's fairly simple, actually. <laughs> okay. That's done. Now, you want this pan. You're still going to use it, though, right? Yeah, yeah. This is actually... Uh, the flavor is in the bottom of it. This is actually the same style as French Provence style cooking or, or the country style cooking, is that we, you will use the same pan all the time and build and blend things together out of it because you keep the flavor. Yeah, that's right. And now, go ahead, Mr. Okay. LePage. We'll wait until it's a little... Chef LePage. Until it gets a little hot there. Uh -huh. There's not too much fat in it, which is good. What we're going to do, we're going to get all that, the soup that sticks in the bottom of the pan and we're gonna use beer to get this out uh -huh. and mix with the beer and the flavor. And that's yeah, that's and, and we and off. we do cook some of the fluid off the beer, and and the harshness off the alcohol. And that's right. well, actually we call that in our trade as deglazing, right? Deglazing, and, and this yeah. is what we deglaze the pan with the alcohol. Okay. So we have that beautiful Belgian beer. And we get a wonderful sound and a wonderful effect. Look at this, London fog, wonderful. And we didn't use the whole thing. Jay, what are you going to do with the rest of that? Yeah? Uh, usually it's for the... Uh, cameraman. For the chef. <laughs> cameraman. Did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't trust any of these guys with 12% beer, believe me. Usually what would be nice is using a wooden spoon that we don't have a wooden spoon today. So we'll use the, the tongs. We'll use you. this. And because this is my copper pan, and if I ruin it, who cares? <laughs> It would be great with a spatula or a wooden spoon, and you'll be able to just remove the debris from the bottom of the pan, and this is what you're going to get to flavor the sauce. Now, this is a slightly darker beer, but it's just a darker amber. It's not really like dark brown beer, but as you can see, the color that's coming into the sauce now is from the what we're the deglazing pan. off the that's bottom right. of the pan, right? That's looking good. Okay, what's next, Chef? What we're gonna do, we're gonna let this reduce a little bit and try uh -huh. to get as much flavor as we can. And we're gonna transfer this into the other casserole. Okay. The frying pan. And from there, we just add all the uh, the ingredients, the spices, the prunes. Uh huh. A tiny little bit of garlic, a little bit of uh, thyme, and rosemary. Okay. Why don't you just get everything ready over here that you're gonna need to add in? We'll just. This takes about another minute. I think mm -hmm. just to reduce yeah, it. Yeah. What do you usually go like about 25 percent? Reduction of 25 yeah, to 30 yeah. percent. Yeah. But what I would do with the prunes, I would pour them right away it, with the chicken since they're dry prunes. We yeah, may do that. Prunes, yeah. We may do that. And here you've got what about 16, 14, something like that? About 20 of them. 20. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm a chef. What do I know about counting? Here we go. I would put the... And we've got garlic. The garlic, it's already chopped up fast. Yes. A little bit of garlic. Perfect. My favorite. And That's then, just a little smaller than a Ross pinch. We've dealt with those for the last two years. A little thyme. Whole thyme. Whole thyme, not ground. Well, I think whole thyme is not as strong. No. No, it's not. It's not quite as bitter, it's actually. The rosemary, whole rosemary. A little bit, Maybe a little more. And these herbs we're using, are, they're quite not common, but they're a mainstream line of French cuisine. So Belgian cuisine, this style of Belgian cuisine, is very close to French cuisine. I would put a little bit of vinegar in there. Ah, uh, the vinegar, nice, nice touch. And a bit of sugar that's gonna help us having a thicker sauce. Like a good soup spoon of, of sugar. And I'd probably put one and a half. And now if we were using rabbit, when we did bind this reduction with the rest of uh, the herbs and the ingredients in here, it would require about an hour to an hour and a half, depending on the depending size on of the, the age, rabbit. The age of the rabbit. A yes. younger rabbit cooks faster than an older rabbit. Of course. Us older guys, we do everything a little longer and slower, believe me. <laughs> 
<laughs> Is that not right, Keith? <laughs> okay. Now we could put the reduction here that we have. Yeah, it gets a little warm, doesn't it? Yeah. You notice I took the one with the plastic handle and gave you the one with the copper handle. <laughs> Why don't we just move this one over to us? There. And then I would put the rest of the beer. Your scarf's undone, Chef. Oh. For, there we go. <laughs> you can tell that did, that did not feel very comfortable anyways. Okay. And since it's chicken breast, We're it's back gonna to cook normal. very fast. Yep. So I would only give it 10 to 15 minutes at the most. Okay. Simmers in a very low heat. And should it be covered or no? It should be covered, yeah. We're going to cover that for a minute. Now what we're going to do, through the magic of television, of course, we will be bringing you this dish quicker than what Pierre just said it, because, like, I know how much time is left. <laughs> what I'd like you to do is just run through the dish again on what it is, okay? okay. It's a Belgian dish. Yeah, it's from the Eno, the, the Eno country, which is a very French part of Belgium. Uh -huh. The only part of Belgium where they don't speak Spanish. And you just came back from Belgium, did yeah, you not? Yeah, I was just there two weeks ago. And evidently you brought this 12% brought beer back with you. That's right. Yeah. And you probably drank the other 23 you brought no, back. No, actually I've learned my lesson over there. I haven't <laughs> had one since I got back. Good, good boy. Okay, just run through the recipe for us. Okay, so what we need is three to four shallots, yeah. two to three slices of, of lard, uh -huh. More slices if it's going to be thin like bacon. Yes. We need about 15 to 20 prunes, a few leaves of uh, rosemary, uh -huh. a little bouquet of thyme, and then we need a little bit of uh, garlic. And we need, of course, Belgian beer, beer but beer. it could be done with any dark Canadian beer. I'm sure it would do this. But if you're going to use a Canadian beer, you should use possibly a darker, more flavorful beer. Of course, in Canada, you won't find one that has that alcohol content. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why we're still alive. Now, and then we need a little bit of oil to, uh, to fry the chicken and the bacon. And we used olive oil, of course. That's right. And then we, one thing that we should do now is give it a little bit of a paper mill. Okay. Now, and then this, the, salt. the final seasoning, and all seasoning should be done at the end, because the seasoning, what we consider as salt and pepper, that is just to the taste situation. All your herbs and your wood flavoring or spices yeah. is in already. Now, you could reduce that just a little bit more, and it would probably thicken and glaze a little more with the sugar. That's right, right? and the prunes would soften up a little bit. Yeah, but I think what we're going to do at the moment is we're going to platter it. We're going to leave these people very shortly. We're going to platter this dish, and we'll be passing it around to the patrons of the pub. Why don't you just start, I'll hold this down for you, and away you go. It's very fastly done with chicken. Oh, it's very quick. It, uh, a rabbit, it would take about an hour, an hour and a half. Of so course, because like the, the initial browning of the rabbit would not have cooked it. You had to go a little longer. With the chicken, it was basically cooked when we browned it. And now we've just impeded a bit of the flavor of the sauce into it. That looks wonderful. It smells good. It smells great. It smells excellent. Okay, we are. this is going to be a fancy little tidbit for some of the patrons. What I'd like to do now is say thank you very much for coming on. It's been a oh, long time coming. We me. should have done this long before. We've known each other for years. It's too bad we didn't start it earlier. Thanks I for thank having Pierre. Me. I thank, uh, I don't know what's the backup line for that. It's nice to have been had. <laughs> I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. We're going to be back very shortly. I've got some friends coming on. We're going to be doing a bunch of different types of cuisines. Stay tuned with us. Thanks again. Thank this you. is coming out to all you people.